Hey everybody, I want to show you guys how I prep my um, fabric for applique. Um, first we use, I use um, some heat and bond light soluble. Not yet. There. I just buy it from Joann's um, by yard. I should start ordering it online but until then. <laughs> Eve's in the background. She just wants to talk and show you guys also. All right. Um, we are going to make a drying mat to match these awesome towels I made. So I need more of this fabric with the Ultra Bond light on it. Um, this is the drying mat. I can open it up. Um, it's blue, kind of matches the stripe on the bottom. So I thought, hey, we'll do that. This is the fabric I got from Joann's. I thought it was really cool. I have silver laces and um, barred rocks, uh, hens. So I wanted to mimic what they would look like. So that's what I'm doing, um, black and white fabric. They both are black and white breeds, if you didn't know. Um, look them up, they're really pretty animals. So here's the fabric. I've got a piece of fabric cut. Be careful, because the iron is on, okay, bud? Just hold on a second, okay? All right, here it is, the bumpy top part. And I just want to cut a chunk. I'll probably cut all the whole thing and then um, make make it a little smaller than your um, piece of fabric. Just a little, so you don't want that sticky bound on anything else but the fabric you want to iron. Put this to the side, we'll put it over there. And I want Eve to get hold of it. She's hanging out behind the camera. <laughs> um, so just a little less. And I can always trim it. I try not to waste too much of it because you can use can it. Can I have money? Yes, I can talk money. Hold on a second. All right, and now we'll go by the iron. Lily needs to be careful by it. Please be careful. Hi. There's, I have there's my the bunny. bunny. I got my bunny. Uh... Lily, be careful, please. Uh, when did I get my bunny? Uh, about two weeks ago. I got oh, bunny. no, a week ago or so. I got my bunny a week ago. Okay, her what name is Snowball. If you haven't seen any of my videos with her, go on to my videos and see the bunny. Yep. All right, you guys. So put the and heat and bond, the rough side down. And also, Oops. don't forget to like and subscribe iron. on my channel and Mommy's channel. It's the same channel, you guys. All right. First, you want to iron your fabric so you don't have lumpies on it. Um, since mine's not directional, it don't really matter too much. You got the bumpy um, side down to the fabric, to the back side of the fabric. Get the pretty, the right side. You want it to the back side. And you just roll over it. You don't have to put much pressure or anything. This just sticks. We let it cool for a minute because it's really hot. I have my iron set on wool. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be how hot. Um, I haven't read this for a while. I usually just leave my iron on the same um, temperature. And I always pull mine off to pull your paper off. Then it makes your, pa your fabric shiny and it kind of makes it more stronger. So when you're cutting it for your applique, it doesn't um, fray as much. And also after it's done stitching, you press your, um, which I haven't pressed it yet, but you press your, your pattern and it bound, binds to your host fabric, which would be the towel. I hope this was very informative for you guys today. Um, keep an eye out for the next chunk. Um, either it'll be another um, video or might be edited to this one. We will see on how I do <laughs> But oh and unplug your iron especially when you have little ones on I'll put that on top of the wash machine Where the baby and Lily cannot touch. Thank you guys like and subscribe See you next time